It's a beautiful day and uh, it's cold and uh, crisp, like minus 30. And you dress warm, you keep active and you'll stay warm. And uh, that's what's happening with me right now. Also that fire that you just saw me light up there is roaring and it's roaring like no fire has ever roared before in that stove. And that's because of that, uh, that sawdust and oil mix that you saw me put into the stove there before I added the kindling and the splits. Uh, that stuff, one match and it is going and it is awesome. I love the fact that I can just put a scoop in and I know that it's, it's, a, it's a foolproof uh, way to start the fire. So I'm really happy about that stuff. I'll put a link below. There's a video I put out recently about how to make it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's simple to make and it's very, very effective. So I'm very happy with that stuff right now. Uh, today I'm gonna cook a burger in the tent. I'm gonna cut up some wood. I've got a lot of wood here that I need to buck up. I brought my chainsaw and um, I'm also, I'm gonna put a hole through the tent. I'm doing it. And uh, there's a, a good reason why. I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna have to watch to see why I'm putting a hole through the tent. I'm going through the plywood and I'm gonna go through the sod cloth on the bottom of the tent. But uh, for now, yeah, I've gotta, I've gotta buck up some wood and I've gotta stock my, um, my, my wood store. And then I'm gonna get the fire, you know, really, really nice and hot for the day. And uh, yeah, cook a burger and cut a hole in the tent. Oh, how beautiful is that, eh? I just love it. I just love the look of this. It's not a lot of wood. That's, uh, that's about seven trees and really it's, what, two and a half feet high and three feet, four feet wide. It's not that much, but it's, uh, I think that's a, maybe like three days, three days worth of uh, steady burning. But uh, yeah, I just love the look of it. So I'm, I, I gotta go get more trees, I really do. And uh, there's one I'm gonna target right now. And what I'm gonna do is something that I've never done before. And that is uh, I'm gonna cut down a tree with an ax and a big tree. Now I have, um, you know, cut down like little, you know, trees, something like, I don't know if you guys can even see that. <laughs> there's a small tree there with a lot of snow on it. Um, and those things I, I've taken down with like little hatchets and stuff. But in terms of going at a tree with an axe, I've never done it in my life. And uh, I figure why not do it right now while the sun's still out.
there's actually like four or five really good trees here that are dead standing. It's nice to know they're here. I'll start with one, see how it goes. By the way, this axe, it's a big axe. It's really made for splitting, but when I got it, I got it for Christmas. It, uh, the labeling on it said, didn't say anything, but there was a picture of this thing coming down into a tree, more snow. So it's supposed to be like a jack of all trades. It's pretty heavy, but uh, I love it. I really do love it. And, it recommends using this as a hammer, which most axes do not. Works well. I'm definitely new at this. So I got this um, I got this hose here to go from my propane oven stove, propane stove, through the tent to connect to a big propane tank. Now unfortunately, this did not come with the adapter I need. So I'm not going to be able to hook it up tonight to a big propane tank. But what I am going to do is I am going to it's not going to stop me. I'm, I'm going to do what I came to do. I'm going to cut a hole through the tent and then I'm going to um, hook up just one of the, the small canisters. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook up a small canister just to see that it works and I'll get the adapter uh, later. 
And the next time I come out, I'll hook it up to the big tank. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna cook some home fries on the propane stove. I love home fries. I'm gonna cook, cook a burger on the wood stove. And yeah, supper at the tent, you can't beat it. Okay, that is definitely the sod cloth. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll go through. doing this backwards.
Oh, that's right. Okay. So this will easily hook up to a tank now. Lots, lots of cable here, lots of cord, lots of hose, whatever you want to call it. It's going to get cold. Now, let's hook it up. There you have it. It's going to work. Just need that adapter.
Okay, well, today was a really full day for me and uh, I, I enjoyed my time. And this is a perfect way to end it with a burger cooked on my indoor barbecue. So if you don't like loud chewing, I suggest you uh, turn it down because I'm gonna loudly chew this. That is perfect. It's so juicy. Mmm, so good. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, it was interesting. It was just an interesting day at the at the camp. You know, just doing stuff, trying to keep on top of things, and uh, you know, just enjoying myself, which I always do. Anyway, I'm on Instagram, by the way. Uh, a J in the woods. Uh, that's that's what <laughs> that's my username on Instagram a J in the woods and uh, I suggest you know if you're on Instagram check it out I'm trying to put up a picture or two every day just kind of you know reflecting this tent and my life out here so yeah check that out and if you like this video hit like subscribe all that stuff leave a comment and uh, hey look cutting down that tree um, I definitely made some mistakes and I, and I know I did um, I came in on a pretty high angle a few times and uh, I felt like it was uh, not the safest angle so once I kind of leveled it out a little bit I really started to feel like I was getting um, some really good strikes in there and really ripping away at the tree so yeah any tips on cutting down trees I'd, I'd love it and with an axe and uh, yeah, just leave comments and uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been watching and I'll be back really soon.